quick introduction. Um, this is basically me after I've recorded the first basic uh, startup video, the, the first introduction video. What we did on this one was we installed React, we installed Babel, we installed Webpack, and we got it all configured. Um, so basically the goal of this project, what I've done already in, in React was build a, a character sheet application for those of you who play Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it's something that I use personally. Um, I have a game every every weekend I play, and I find it difficult to car carry my character sheet um, papers with me all the time. It's also difficult to have pen and paper. Um, that's just a, a little bit of a hassle. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm starting a tutorial series on how to create your own um, character sheet using um, kind of modern code, React, and I'm probably going to inter integrate this with Firebase. Um, I know a lot of D&D uh, &D players have uh, their preference of, of what kind of games they like to play as far as the edition they play. And I already created an application that, that works for Pathfinder, which is the 3.5 edition. Um, and I, it's, it's already online. If you want to go check it out, it's uh, charactersheet.online. So basically we're going to be creating something like this. And what I decided to do to make it more accessible to newer players would be make a character sheet for D&D's 5th edition, which is the most modern, up-to-date, the newest, most popular version of Dungeons & Dragons. And as you see here, this is an application that I have hosted online. You can enter your character name. You can say, my name is Frank. And you can have your alignment, etc. Basically, all these fields are dynamic and they're bound to what's called the store in React. And we can actually save this also to the cloud. So when we're logging in and registering, we can do stuff like load our other characters, save our characters, and this is all bound to the um, Google's cloud storage database. So it gives us some functionality where we can pick us up, um, open this website wherever we are, on our phones, on our laptops, and have access to all of our D&D &D characters. So um, I hope you enjoy the course. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the video. And uh, I'll be also uploading this as a Git repository, so feel free to track that and just let me know if you have any questions. Um, this is our goal. We're going to make a, a dynamic character sheet. So you can see we have some stats that are linked from your stats menu. Um, we have things like spells, feats, abilities. Um, these are all dynamically added and modified. Um, so hopefully if you want, you can um, get some insight on how to build this, maybe customize it for your own, um, add different things like maybe character picture or having um, specified spell slots or things that are more specific to your character. So without further ado, I'll get into the first video. Thanks for watching.